हॅलो एव्हरीबडी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मिसेस प्रीती सुनील जोशी असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्युमॅनिटीज अँड सायन्सेस फ्रॉम वालचंद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोईंग टू सी द ॲप्लिकेशन ऑफ लेझर इन द फील्ड ऑफ होलोग्राफी सो ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टुडंट विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टँड द प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ होलोग्राफी understand the differences between photography and holography student will learn about hologram and its properties and student can explain different applications of holograms the contents include introduction history difference principle properties of hologram and applications holography is the science and practice of making holograms the word holography is formed by combining two parts of the greek words holos means whole and graphin meaning to write thus holography means writing the complete image but the question is what is hologram students have you seen the hologram can you discuss where you have seen it on books on branded products in the movie in market please pause the video and discuss okay i will tell you another interesting example you all might have seen hindi movie kick in the bollywood movie kick the hero played by salman khan is under tight surveillance of the police to check off the trail he projects a holographic image of himself continuously wandering around the house the police are totally deceived by the illusion keeping a close watch on the hologram while the real hero carries out whatever admirable enterprise he has in the mind so is this technology real can we create a convincing likeliness of something yes the answer is yes holograms are real and as we will see they might one day lead us to the key to the mystery of the universe what is a hologram it is like a photograph it is a three dimensional and is entirely made up of light when projected it is so much like the original object that even looks different from different angles the way holograms are created are somewhat similar to photography they also require exposure of light on a photographic film but making a hologram is more complex and more difficult than taking a photograph so let us first discuss exactly what is photography images of the objects are generally obtained using photographic method In this method a lens focuses the light reflected from a three dimensional object onto a photographic film where a two dimensional image of the object is formed a negative is first obtained by developing the film and then a positive is obtained through printing the positive print is a two dimensional record of light intensity received from the object it thus contains information about the amplitude of the light wave that produced the image but the information about the phase of the wave is not recorded and is completely lost let us see the history of holography in 1948 dennis gaber outlined a two step lensless imaging process it is radically a new technique of photographing the objects and is known as wavefront reconstruction the technique is also known as holography 1962 mark a turning point in the development of holograms emmet leit and juris patniks from the university of michigan have imagined thanks to their research on the radar that holography could be used as a medium of the three dimensional visualization based on the work of gaber they decided to integrate his theory with laser technology while adding a technique developed by them even based on the offset axis 
The result was final in 1964. They are creating the first hologram from three-dimensional object. These transmission holograms gave a very clear and realistic, but they are visible only by the light of a laser. Let us now discuss the fundamental concept of holography. Holography is a two-step process. First step is the recording of hologram where the object is transformed into a photographic record. And the second step is the reconstruction in which the hologram is transformed into the image. A hologram is the result of interference occurring between two waves, an object beam which is the light scattered off the object and a coherent background and the reference beam which is reaching the photographic plate directly. The first step in the holography is recording of hologram. A highly coherent source is used for this. First of all, the laser beam is divided into two parts called as reference beam and object beam. The object beam illuminates the object. The refracted beam falls on the photographic plate. The reference beam is reflected on the photographic plate by a plane mirror. Thus, the film is simultaneously exposed to object and reference beam. As both the beams belong to the same wavefront, the beams interfere on the plate and a complex interference pattern is obtained on the plate. The photoplate, which consists of complex interference pattern, is known as hologram. It is also known as Gaber zone plate. The hologram gives no idea about the image embedded, but it consists of information about the amplitude and phase of the object wave. The second part is reconstruction of the image. Reconstruction is the reverse process of making hologram. The hologram is illuminated by a single beam from laser. The beam acts like a reference beam and hologram acts as diffraction grating and diffracts the light. So, in the direct direction, we get a zero order giving no information because the laser beam passed through the hologram has information only about amplitude variation but not about phase variation. In the other directions, the waves diffracted through the hologram carry the phase and amplitude of the waves originally diffracted by the object. Thus, the object wave fronts have been reconstructed. In figure, we can see that one of the diffracted beam forms real image while another forms virtual image. The real image can be photographed without the aid of lenses by placing a light sensitive medium at the position of real image. The virtual image has all characteristics of the object. This is a photograph of an optical table being used to make a hologram. Please pause the video and discuss some differences between conventional photography and holography. Now let us come to the properties of hologram. In an ordinary photograph, each region contains separate and individual part of the original object. Therefore, destruction of a portion of a photographic image leads to an ir irreparable loss of information corresponding to the destroyed part. On the other hand, in a hologram, each part contains information about the entire object. From even a small part of the hologram, the entire image can be reconstructed. Therefore, hologram is a reliable medium for data storage. It is not useful to record several images on a single photographic film. Such a record cannot give information about any of the individual images. On the other hand, several images can be recorded on a hologram. Therefore, information holding capacity of a hologram is extremely high. While a 6 by 9 mm photograph can hold one printed page, a hologram of the same size can store up to 300 such pages. On a hologram, information is recorded in the form of interference pattern. The type of the pattern obtained depends on the reference beam used to record the hologram. 
the information can be decoded only by a coherent wave identical to that of the reference wave the reference wave can be chosen appropriately consequently without the knowledge of the shape of the reference wavefront the information encoded in the form of interference pattern on the hologram cannot be interpreted then coming to the applications of holography holography can be used for a broad range of applications in different fields although holography can solve many problems it is still a relatively expensive procedure it is not possible to describe all of them but some typical applications we will discuss here security one of the most popular areas for the use of holograms is the security and the product authentication the presence of hologram indicates the authenticity of these items they provide a powerful obstacle to counterfeiting the security of holograms have proven to be surp unsurpassed when added to documents tamper proofing customizing ticket protection identification documents including credit and phone cards driver's license etc then three dimensional photography one of the most obvious applications of holography is the production of a three dimensional photograph with the distance and orientation of each point of the object recorded in the image microscopy holography can be used in the techniques of microscopy it is possible to obtain a magnified image of an object if recording is done with light of smaller wavelength and a reconstruction with light of longer wavelength smaller areas in an object can be examined in de greater detail this has great potential in observing micro objects such as blood cells cancer affected tissues etc the autofocus and phase shift imaging capabilities of digital holographic microscopy makes it possible to effortlessly create label free and quantifiable time lapse video clips of unstained cells for cell migration studies in the figure we can see the time lapse of dividing and migrating cells then character recognition holography can also be used for character recognition the complicated wavefront from an object is generated from a hologram by the simple wavefront of the reference beam the process is reversible to that re reference wave can be generated by the object wave this principle forms the basis of holographic pattern recognition this could be used to identify fingerprints etc then data storage holograms can also be used for data storage devices and hence are of much use in computer technology a large amount of information as 1012 letters or digits can be stored in a cubic centimeter of a volume hologram the object is converted into binary code of ones and zeros like we use today next the ones and zeros are converted into a matrix of light and dark squares those light and dark squares are then electronically sent through modulator the laser beam then shines through the special light modulator pixels of the special light modulator filter that is block or allow the light thus encoding the data into the laser beam these memories have long lifetime because a small mechanical damage to the portion of a hologram will not erase the stored information so these are the references for this session thank you